to you all welcome to this video this is lecture number 12 or the part 4 for the solution of problem the electrodynamics by dj griffith we already four part cover that is uh, the problem um, number uh, 2.1 to 2.36 36 problem we are already covered in four part you can refer to this video link given in the description box and the uh, previous lecture before the four part we already covered up the sol solution or the problem given in the electrostatic and magnetism by Vasudev Ghosh book we already covered up this portion you can also go through this link you can get the this video okay so let's start in this video i want to discuss about this problem that is 2.37 to 2.40 let's start with question 2.37 which says two large metal plate two large metal plate this is a large metal plate each of area a each of area a held at a distance d their distance is d their area is a you can write this area a this area a okay Suppose we put a charge Q on each plate. Uh, there is a charge uh, Q charge on each plate. There is a charge on each plate. Q charge on each plate. Clear. Now, what is the uh, electrostatic pressure on the plates? So, you, know, you can draw for this positive charge. Electric field is outward, outward for this electric field outward. So, in this region, this uh, for that plate is outward, that plate is outward. So, each a to uh, to equal and opposite since their magnitude are the same sigma by 2 epsilon naught so in this region electric field will be zero but in this region these are the both in the same direction and that region on the same direction so outside this plate the electric field will be sigma by 2 epsilon naught into 2 because they are the um, added up so the electric field will be sigma by epsilon naught so sigma is uh, charge density that is the charge per unit area q by a so this is q by a epsilon naught now the pressure expression is in nothing but epsilon naught by 2 e square this is the uh, equation number 2.52 you can see in this book that is equation equation 2.52 says this pressure will be like that so the pressure is epsilon naught by 2 e square so if you put the value of e you will get this answer this is the pressure on each plate clear go to the next question three point uh, two point three eight which says a metal sphere of radius r carrying a total charge q what is the force on the repulsion between the north hemisphere and the southern hemisphere that means there is a total sphere within that you need to find out the force on this uh, half part or, or, or on the another half part okay you know the electric field within this uh, cell electrostatic uh, electric uh, spherical cell the electric field within this electric field will be zero and the outside electric field will be like that so if you, 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 you can write the average electric field will be uh, this one plus this one by two so there is a half arise okay so if you take the force on z direction if you take the hemisphere northern hemisphere and this is southern hemisphere so force along z direction because this others component will be cancel out to each other if this is an electric field this component will be e cos theta so the force will be like, uh, uh, acted along the z direction because the sin theta component will be cancelled out okay so the z uh, force along z direction will be integrated uh, electric field into charge force is the electric field into charge so electric field in, along z direction is nothing but uh, half 1 by 5 by epsilon naught uh, and this uh, radius is the r small r is the outside problem on the surface this r equals to r this uh, this is r because on the surface because on the surface this small r equals to capital r and the component along z direction will be cos theta component right and sigma sigma is nothing but charge per uh, total surface area that is q per total surface area and da is a small surface on the spherical surface coordinate you know uh, r square sin square dc theta d phi okay so uh, you can write that is the 1 by 2 epsilon naught and this 4 pi r square 4 pi r square that is 2 4 pi r square that is 2 q that is q by 4 pi r square whole square and the integration of uh, d phi uh, uh, over the square will be 2 pi 
so remaining uh, sin theta cos theta and the uh, theta limit will be 0 to pi by 2 because of the half square right 0 to pi by 2 so if you take uh, there is a half you will be get sin to theta integration of sin to theta is cos to theta uh, if you put the value uh, of theta is pi by 2 is cos pi minus 1 and 0 is minus 1 so there is will be happening to 2 to cancel out only this half arises this 4 square is 16 into 2 is 32 pi epsilon naught r square and q square clear so this is the force uh, which uh, uh, arises for the half square and the next half square go to the next question find the capacitance <coughs> sorry find the capacitance per unit length of two coaxial metal cylindrical tube of radii a and b there is a uh, cylindrical tube a and b we need to find out the capacitance of our unit length okay so for capacitance you know the ch q per uh, 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 potential so you need to find out the potential for potential if you know the electric field you can find out potential easily that's why we take there is a charge q charge on the inert pair so for that the electric field at a distance is between a and b uh, we need to find out electric field between a and b that is the electric field between a and b that is a is uh, actually a is b within that region we need to find out the electric field uh, so if you take a gaussian surface with length l and the uh, radius s within the a and b so this is e into 2 pi s into l this is surface area in the cylindrical coordinate system and the charge within this region we take q so q by epsilon naught so finally you get 2 q by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by s s cap this is the electric field so the potential difference will be e dot dl and change from a to b so if you put the value of e this will be ds by a so ln b by a since b is greater than a so this term is positive so this is minus so we can take the potential difference magnitude uh, we can take v a minus v b so minus will be cancelled out we need to potential difference that is the magnitude we need to so this is the potential difference hence the capacitance will be q by v v is the potential difference q is the so if you put the value q by uh, v so q will be cancelled out you will take 2 pi epsilon naught l by 2 ln b by a now the capacitance per unit length unit length means l is 1 so this is 4 pi epsilon naught by 2 ln b by a this is the capacitance of this cylindrical tube go to the next question 2.40 says suppose the plate of parallel plate capacitor uh, that's mean sorry that's mean there is a two parallel plate like that uh, this two parallel plate capacitor system uh, move closer to an infinite distance epsilon they they, they are change uh, this is epsilon to uh, epsilon to like that that is the total change will be epsilon okay using uh, equation 2.52 express the amount of work done by electrostatic force in terms of the electric field so you need to find out the work done for this uh, happening okay uh, using the equation 2.52 do you know that equation 2.52 says the pressure due to electrostatic field so pressure is this so the force will be pressure into area you need to the area is a so this is the force and work done is nothing but force into displacement here displacement epsilon so if you put this value you will get that is epsilon naught by epsilon naught by 2 e square a and this is the displacement okay go to the next question says using 2.46 another equation to express the energy lost by the field in this process so you need to find out again the work done for using this another formula that is 2.46 which says energy per unit volume this is the energy per unit volume so the work done is nothing but energy per unit volume into volume if you multiply uh, this is per unit volume and this is volume so if you multiply volume 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 cancel out so you will you will be get the energy okay so you will be get epsilon naught by 2 e square and the volume will be a into epsilon this is surface area and this is displacement this is volume so you will be get the same result as obtained in a i think clear if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box and this is all about me
uh, i think in in the next video we want to discuss about this uh, chapter 2 of griffith the more problem of chapter 2 that is uh, problem number 2.41 we need to start this question is very important in the next video so stay connected and that's all this is all about me and this is my contact details and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you'll get another videos like that and share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefits subscribe this channel if you new in this channel and those already subscribe thanks for subscription press the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming video so take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you